Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge or regular Galaxy S7 or for that matter, any other Android device as its own standalone piece. There are a couple prerequisites you need. For one, you're going to need the Samsung Galaxy S7. Then you're going to need an OTG adapter or this USB connector, which is the same thing, but it came with your Samsung Galaxy S7. And now you're going to need a USB hub. And preferably a USB hub that is powered. This will allow you to connect more USB devices without having to worry about degradation. Next up is, of course, a mouse. This can be either a wired or wireless mouse, whichever you prefer. To need a keyboard. Again, this can be either wired or wireless. Either way, it didn't matter. And yes, this one does have a trackpad on it, but I'm not too fond of trackpads unless you really need to use it. So that's why I have the wireless mouse too. Next, you're either going to need a case with a stand on it, like a kickstand, or you're going to need some kind of like holder just to place your phone in and set it in like so it can rest on your desktop or just so it can stand up straight and it doesn't get in the way or it doesn't knock down. I learned it just makes things a lot easier. And lastly, you're going to need to have a Chromecast or some kind of mirror cast functionality on the TV or monitor that you are using. Again, you can use this on a TV or on a monitor, and um, it just connects on the HDMI port on your TV, and then you connect the USB power into the USB port on the back of your TV, but if you have a Chromecast, this shouldn't be new to you. Um, it's fairly easy. Then you have to make sure you have the Chromecast app downloaded onto your phone as well. Okay, so the first two things you're going to need is you're going to need Nova Launcher. So go to the Play Store, search for Nova. Honestly, it doesn't matter which launcher. It could be Apex Launcher. It could be most aftermarket launchers. This is just so when you use uh, the screen rotation, it actually rotates properly. Now, if you're using a device that already does uh, landscape rotation on like Galaxy devices, then you can skip this step. Okay, so after you get a Nova Launcher or whichever launcher you decide to pick, uh, aftermarket and launchers seem to be better with TouchWiz anyways because it also has a lot less lag. So, uh, not that TouchWiz lately has had much lag, but it, it's really smooth. Plus it can give you that AOSP experience. So, the next thing you need is uh, a rotation app. And this is the one I use. Um, if you find another one you can use that too but basically that's what forces it into landscape mode and this will make it a lot more of a pleasant um, desktop experience and so you won't have the black bars on your screen so you're going to need that okay so this is what the setup should look like we got the keyboard and the mouse and see the USB hub the wireless receivers are connected also here we got a portable hard drive you can also use USB flash drive as well all you gotta do is hook it up and your phone will recognize it that's why it's also important that you're using a powered USB hub also notice how I have a charging pad if you have some kind of charging dock it would actually make a really good solution so that way the device can charge at the same time Okay, and there's the Galaxy S7, and that's why we have the launcher, so it can go on landscape and the rotation control. That's the OTG cable, an adapter, and there's the cable to the USB hub. And this is what it will look like inside the desktop experience. Later on, I will show you how to do this in the Chromecast app and cast it to the TV. Okay, so now that we're in the desktop experience and what you would see... Now it's time to go to the Chromecast app so I can show you how to cast the screen to your TV. So 
so once you're in the Chromecast app, go to the side menu. There's three slashes right there. And then hit cast screen slash audio. And then where it says tap to disconnect, that will say tap to connect. Then you select the Chromecast that is on your network. If you have a Chromecast, this shouldn't be too difficult for you. Now here's another good example of what you can actually do like a desktop. You can process Word documents um, on a computer like setting rather than on a mobile phone make things a lot easier for you especially if you don't have a lot of money or you don't have another computer this is a perfect way you can create documents just like you would on a full-blown computer nice big screen or how about another good one Let's say you want to watch a YouTube video. You can do that too. Just select whichever video and play it. And all the audio will come out the TV or the device you're using. And it's very great. You, there's so many different ways you, this can be used. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I have a couple more great videos up here if you guys want to check them out or if you want to keep up to date with all my greatest and latest videos, hit that subscribe button right down below.